All right, um, let's review how to solve linear equation in this video. So I'm uh, normally mentioning the six steps on how to solve linear equations in one variable. So of course, the first thing we're gonna do is identify terms. Do any distribution if you need to and combine like term on each side if needed. A very important step, uh, make sure you combine as many like terms as you can on each side before you start moving them. So moving all the variable term to one side and uh, move all the other terms to the other side, it just when you move terms across the equal side, make sure you change the sign to the opposite. So a lot of times when students say subtract something on both sides or add something on both sides, it simply means moving terms, okay, to the right or to the left. Once you move them, you can combine like terms again on each side. And then of course, the next step is always dividing both sides by the coefficient. All right, so real quick. So here I got 12x minus 13 equal to 7x plus 2. So I got four terms here in the whole entire equation. So there's no, none of the four term has parentheses, so we don't have to do any distribution. There's no light term to combine on each side, so let's move them. So where should I move my variable term to? Well, that depends on the, that depends on the variables. Um, depends on the coefficient of the variable term. So I normally suggest students to move the variables to the bigger side. So I got 12x on the left, 7x on the right. 12x is bigger, so we can move the 7x, okay, to the left side. And why do we do that? Because if I am always move the variable term to the larger side, it will keep my variable term positive at all times. So when I divide by the coefficient at the end, I don't have to divide it by negative coefficient. I will always divide it by positive coefficient. So on the left side, 12x is still 12x. Positive 7x come over, it will become negative 7x. So if the variable term gonna be on the left side, then that means the negative 13, okay, will need to go to the right side. All right, so the right side already got positive two there. Negative 13 come over, become positive 13. Just make sure you change the sign when you move a term across the equal sign. So now let's combine again. 12x minus 7x is 5x equal to the other side is 15. So divide both sides by the coefficient, which is 5. My answer, x equal to 3. All right. So a lot of a lot of times people say coefficient is a number in front of the variable. Uh, that is not always the case, okay? Coefficients are factors inside the variable term other than the variable itself. So 5x is a variable term because that term contains the variable. So if the x is the variable, then the phi is the coefficient. That's why I have the last step required me to divide both sides by the coefficient. All right, so let's try another one with the, with the distribution. So this equation only has, uh, also has four terms. Subtraction sign here, separate between two terms. Uh, this is a negative sign. So the plus sign here, separate between the two terms. So just by the look of it, my second term and my third term has parentheses, so that remind me to do the distribution. All right, so let me go ahead and write it down. All right, so the first term seven, still seven. Second term, negative four times three T, negative 12 T. Negative four times negative three is positive 12. All right, equal sign is always in the middle. All right, my third term negative here means negative one that will do a distribution. So negative one times negative 40 is positive 40. Negative one times negative five is positive five. My last term, my fourth, original fourth term is positive nine. All right, let's do step number three. If you go back up to see step number three, combine like terms on each side. So on the left side, the equal sign, all right, negative 12t, it has no light term to combine, so still negative 12t. 7 plus 12 is positive 19. All right, on the right side, 4t has no light term to combine on the right side, so that's still 4t. 5 plus 9, positive 14. Okay, so again, I got variable term on both sides, negative 12t on the left, positive 4t on the right. Positive 4t is bigger than negative 12t, so, we're all, so I'm going to move my negative 12t to the right side. 
so I can keep my variable term positive at all time. Therefore, I can just divide it by the coefficient that are positive. Easier to divide it by positive coefficient. Lesser chance to make mistakes. So I'm going to go ahead and do this uh, real quick. The negative 2 of t come over to the right become positive 2 of t. Combined with the positive 4 t, that should get 16 t. All right, positive 14 go over, become negative. So that will be 19 minus 14, which is 5. Divide both sides by coefficient. Okay, 16. So my answer would just be 5 over 16. All right, let's review how to how to um, solve a fraction equations real quick. All right, so um, there are different ways to solve fraction equations. So for the review purpose, I'm going to show you how to solve um, this particular fraction equation by clear the fraction technique. So we will clear the fraction by multiply every term by the least common denominator. Okay, so just by looking at the denominators here between 4 and 8, AOCD got to be 8. Between 8 and 3, that got to be 24. So that means 3, 4, and 8 okay, can all go into 24. So 24 is our LCD. So the technique is what I'm trying to show you here. Multiply every term by the LCD. So for my first term times by the LCD 24, let me go ahead and write it down here. For my first term times by 24, that 24 means 24 over 1. So that instantly put the 24 on the top. So what it does here is the 24 and the 3 will cancel out. So that leaves me with just 1 in the denominator. And that gives me A on top. So now 8 times 2x will be 16x. So the whole purpose. So what happened to my denominators? Well, they all become 1. So that's why it appear to be I'm clearing all the fraction because now all my denominator is 1. <clears throat> so in the meantime, though, times by the LCD, 24, I'm, I'm increasing the entire equation by 24 times, so I can just deal with integers. All right, time, second term, times by 24, mean 24 over 1, top 4, um, top 24, bottom 4, reducing to 1 and 6. So that will be negative 6 times 3, negative 18, equals, again, 24 and 8 reduced into 1 and 3, so that will be 21x plus, this canceled out as 6, 7 times positive 6, 42. All right, so again, I got four terms, just like I had in the original equation. So 21x is bigger than 16x, so I'm going to move my 16x over. Once it moves to the right side, you become a negative. So there'll be 21x minus 16x, which will give me 5x, I believe. So I'm basically moving term and combine at the same time. All right. So move the positive 42 over. That become negative. So in the calculator, you can say, well, that's negative 18. That was already on the left side minus a 42 because positive 42 come over, become negative. So that's negative 60. So... Divide both sides by the positive coefficient 5, my answer is going to be negative 12. All right. So that's called a clear the fraction technique. We use a lot of, the, uh, we out we, we actually use this technique quite often. So it's good to, to, um, to see how the arithmetic actually worked out. All right. That will conclude this review video on solving linear e equation in one variable. Thank you for watching.